Why can't Almighty God become a human being? What's the problem? God can do anything and everything. So why are you limiting God? God can do anything and everything. So why can't he become a human being? So I tell them, even if I agree with you, for the sake of argument, that God can do anything and everything. And if God becomes a human being, then he ceases to be God. Because the qualities of God and human being are different. Almighty God is immortal. Human being is mortal. You can't have an immortal, mortal person together. You either have mortal being or immortal being. You can either have God or man. You can't have God-man. You can't have a person who's immortal and mortal at the same time. It's meaningless. You either have God or you have man. You can't have God-man. Almighty God has got no beginning. Human beings have a beginning. You can't have a person who has a beginning and no beginning at the same time. It's meaningless. Almighty God has got no end. Human beings have an end. You can't have a person who has an end and no end at the same time. So either you can have a man or God. You can't have a God man. It's like you telling me, I saw a tall short man. You can either see a tall man or a short man. You can't see a tall short man. It's meaning opposite. You can have medium height, but not tall short. You can have a fat man or a thin man. You can't have a fat thin man. It's meaningless. The qualities of Almighty God and human being are exactly opposite. You can either have God or a human being. So if God becomes a human being, he ceases to be God. Almighty God does not require to eat. We human beings require to eat. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 14, He feeds everyone, but does not require to be fed. We human beings, we require rest, we require sleep. Almighty God does not require rest and sleep. Allah says in the Quran in Ayat al-Kursi and Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 255 Allah He is the one and only The eternal, the self-subsisting No slumber can seize him nor does he require rest To him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth So Almighty God if he becomes a human being He ceases to be God so what is the use of worshipping a human being like you and me? And if I agree with you that Almighty God can do anything and everything, in the same argument, if Almighty God can do anything and everything, Almighty God can even tell a lie. But to tell a lie is ungodly. The moment God tells a lie, He ceases to be God. If I agree with you for sake of argument, Almighty God can do anything and everything, Almighty God can even forget. But to forget is ungodly. Quran says in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse 52, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never forgets. The moment God forgets, He ceases to be God. If I agree with you, Almighty God can do anything and everything. Almighty God can even do injustice. But to do injustice is ungodly. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 40, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. The moment God does injustice, He ceases to be God. If God can do anything and everything, then God can even make a mistake. But to make a mistake is ungodly. Quran says in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 52, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never errs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never makes a mistake. The moment Almighty God makes a mistake, He says it to be God. That's the reason. Nowhere in the Quran is it mentioned that Allah can do everything. Nowhere. But what does the Quran say? Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. For verily, Allah has power over all things. Surah Baqarah chapter number two, verse number 106. Surah Baqarah chapter number two, verse number 109. Surah Baqarah chapter number two, verse number 284. Surah Al Imran chapter number three, verse 29. Surah Nahl chapter number 16, verse 77. And Surah Fatir chapter number 35, verse number one. Allah says, Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. For verily, Allah has power over all things. Allah says in Surah Buraj, chapter number 85, verse number 16, that Allah is the doer of all he intends. Whatever Allah intends, he can do. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not intend to tell a lie, to make a mistake, to do injustice, to become a human being. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only intends godly things. Whatever he intends, he can do. 
But the intent only got the things. 